welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Phoenix, Arizona, actually Avondale, Arizona, Phoenix Raceway. Championship weekend, it's speedy Saturday. The cup car is about to go out for qualifying. That's right, you heard that, right? Qualifying, we have full practice and qualifying back this weekend for the championship, of course. The trucks crowned their champion last night. Xfinity will do the same tonight, and we'll be here tomorrow for the cup race as well. We'll be exploring the track over the next couple days, but first, NASCAR Cup Series qualifying. Are you shocked he's your pick, right? My pick! I, I, Let's he, go! He's a lot of people's pick, I mean, in fairness. He's on the phone with Batman or something. I don't, I don't really get it. What is it, is that, is that Noah Gregson's logo on his cape? What, <laughs> what is the message here? What? <laughs> now before we can talk about the Cup Series title, we've got to crown an Xfinity champ. Gosh, that's insane. That's nuts. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. bump and run from Daniel Hemrick, his first ever NASCAR win, and he wins the championship. He was so consistent all year long, got it done the old fashioned way, and then wins it at the very end, at the 11th hour. That was, oh, that was so dramatic. That was certain. I don't think there's any way the cup race tomorrow can top it, but uh, we'll see. Oh man, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. <laughs> Sunday, folks. 
A sellout crowd today. The campgrounds are packed. There's a real party-like atmosphere out here in Phoenix. It's been all throughout the campgrounds this weekend. I want to say a big thank you to Motorsport Games for inviting me out to this event. They've got the E-NASCAR stage set up out here. Really cool Motorsport Games though to have me out so I can bring you guys this kind of at-track content. We've got YouTubers like Real Radman and the Jeff Fabiano out here as well. That's awesome. We've been out here giving NASCAR 21 Ignition a few test laps around Phoenix, which is pretty cool. They've had drivers like BJ McLeod, Josh Williams, and others stopping by throughout the weekend. Oh, Jesus! Yes. Oh, just nailed that guy! Oh my goodness, it's a calamity out here. I absolutely did not expect to see an old school car of tomorrow with the wing on display out here. Oh, wow, they have an old replica Richard Petty Buick on display here in the general tire tent. Very, very cool. Wow. Oh, dang, this thing is my color. Oh. Now, we have infield access for this race. I've got my free Coke Zero. I'm just like sipping it as I walk around. But uh, so yeah, we're gonna take you guys behind the scenes. Driver intros are about to start. So we're gonna see how many drivers, maybe some championship contenders we can see up close. So this guy just walking right behind me. Does he know he's on camera? Oh, it's always creepy. Sorry, sorry people. <laughs> Bro, Steve Phelps is in the fan zone, uh, in the infield. What is he? He's just hanging out, fans are just walking by. Steve Phelps, man. I'll tell you, NASCAR is crazy accessible. Like, what? You ever see Roger Goodell just hanging out among NFL fans? I mean. He absolutely would never. All right, we're walking all around Metallica. Yeah, playing in the background. I know we're all over the place. It's been kind of a quick Sunday, but uh, let's see what we can see right before uh, the drivers get in their race cars. Chase Elliott. Oh yeah. That's a, that's a big cheer. That's a big one. Denny Hamlin just got some healthy dose of booze, I should say. Kyle Larson. Whoa. That was close to Chase. Very close. What a finish, what a weekend. Kyle Larson wins his first ever NASCAR Cup Series championship. He deserved it. His pit crew got him out front with a blazing fast pit stop. What they say on the broadcast, that was the second fastest pit stop they had like all season long. I had a fantastic time. I hope you guys enjoyed following along the last two days. The 2021 season is over. I know, hold back the tears. But I'll see you all back at the track in February at the LA Clash.